Obviously with this song I'm talking a lot about dynamics. Here's an exercise to help you with your dynamics. It's a 16th note single stroke accent exercise. An accent is when you play some notes louder than others. And it's notated by what looks like a sideways V above the note that you want played louder. So let's take four 16th notes. We'll start with none of the four accented, to then each one of the four accented, to then every possible combination of two of the four accented, to then every possible combination of three of the four accented, until finally all four are accented. Let's check this out on the snare drum. Now, keep in mind, this is only one utilization of one exercise featuring one rudiment on one drum. Mathematically, if you were to take all the rudiments and exercises and such out there, apply all the possible variations, dynamics, etc., and multiply that by the number of sound sources on your drum set, I believe the number was 87,539,600,000 five hundred thirty nine million six hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifty three point eight possible things to play on the drum set or maybe not you know what I don't know I really stink at math but I hope you get my point even just this exercise some different things you could do are play the unaccented notes on the snare drum and play the accented notes on the toms or vice versa play the unaccented notes on the toms and the accent and notes on the snare drum. Or take the sticks and put them on any combination of one, two, three, four drums and play the unaccented notes there, play the accented notes on the cymbals. It's all these variations on dynamics and voicing that led me to come up with the drum part for this song, including the drum solo section. Let's check that out now, way under tempo. Once again, the hands are doing nothing other than right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. About the writing of the song. This one was written from the drums up, meaning I put together all the drum parts first before I wrote the rest of the music or lyrics. Now as you'll notice from watching the rest of this video, or maybe you know from listening to my album Stick Figure, cheap plug, is that lyrically for the most part the songs are a little tongue-in-cheek, a little sarcastic, light-hearted, a little silly, goofy, some might dare say stupid, and um, I thought the lyrics for this song might be like most of the others. But as I was listening to my work recordings of the drum parts as I was sorting things out, they reminded me of things that I heard as a teenager on the streets of New York City, listening to 
street drummers playing on the corner, in the park, on the subway platforms, snare drums, toms, sometimes even on a bucket, trying to make a couple dollars. So I decided to make this song a story about one of those drummers and give dual meaning to the title, Nothing But a Single, meaning throughout the whole song I'm playing Nothing But a Single Stroke Roll, and here's this kid playing his drum on the subway platform, and he has nothing but a single dollar bill in his bucket. So, in a way, the song ended up being a tribute to the street drummers in New York City. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope life gives you more than a single dollar bill in your bucket.